everyone, Rigel T here, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Ultra Moon. Last guess time, who, guess who's still here? A name <laughs> or King of the Magic Ops. Yeah. So last time we explored Paniola Town. It was very boring, except and the only thing making it not boring was A name and I talking to each other. About the well, anime. Well, we just got onto multiple ramps. So. Yeah. And that was more, to me, and probably to the people who totally weren't watching it, that was more enjoyable. Yeah. Everyone who works on the ranch loves a good Pokemon battle. Yeah. This is probably the best part of the Paniola area. Paniola Ranch. I actually like this area. Also, it has one of the most memorable songs or themes of, of area in Alola. Because most themes are kind of forgettable. Don't you agree, A name? Yeah. There there are a couple good ones though. Yeah. This the route ones are exploring though. Okay, this is one of the hardest early um regular trainer battles. Unless you come prepared. Eat well, sleep well, then it's time for a proper battle. This is Lady I believe. No, it's not Lady, it's uh Madame Elizabeth. She has carving, which is a rock fairy type, correct? Yes. Yeah, rock fairy type. And this thing can be pretty annoying unless you come with the proper moves or types. So basically, don't pick one <laughs> for this battle. But yeah, if you come prepared... Really annoying. It has almost shuffle level defenses. And this is one of the reasons why it's super annoying. It has sharpened. Which means, while it has almost shuffle level defenses, it can have better than shuffle attacks. But, unfortunately, because of my over levelness, maybe we die. <laughs> Get ripped. It's gonna take forever to upload these videos. Yeah. Yeah, the YouTube uploader, especially on phone, is way slower than on computer. I spent a like, computer's time three times faster. Videos. Okay. If you want the King of the Carps channel, the, um, the Pokemon Showdown number one video took, <laughs> uh, like, almost two days to wow. upload. Because my internet was, like, half broken. Uh -huh. I also had to use school internet. Oh, you so, gotta be a try go yeah. right where you got a good sense of timing. The captain's actually here now, so come on. Okay, another problem I have with this, um, region is that, well... This area feels so big and vast, even though it's not really. This is the only um area that actually feels large. Thanks for stopping and by. Also, I really like that ice that ice sprite for a mill tank. It's actually quite realistic. <laughs> but also, as I mentioned, the size of the region. Like seriously, they always act as if this area. The region, the lower region, each island is way bigger than it is when we clearly know it's not. Because everything is, for all intents and purposes, one to one scale with little variance. So we know this is the actual size of everything. Mm, white sauce, another thing. Mmm, the taste can't even be described. Which makes it really, yeah, that the region, because of everything, one to one scale and the way it's, it's sized, it just kind of feels off, off, and small, as I keep saying, which is my biggest problem with the Alola region. I think the Alola region is fine and fun, but the design of the region is what gives me problems. Though I give serious props to how they treated the Hawaiian culture, or cultures, because there's tons of them. Yeah. And there's all... And it's basically, and, but half of the areas or settled areas on these towns are like, um, basically references to Can Kanto and Jodo. Also, you, they kind of, also something interesting they have to mention that I think I haven't, I have mentioned yet, but Acerola, you'll, you'll meet her way later in the game. She is descended to royalty of the family that apparently used to be royalty on in a call in that bleh in in Alola 
Did you know a name that Hawaii, before it was annexed by the U.S., actually had a monarchy? Huh, I really did not know And that. when it was annexed, the U.S. basically said, nope, and tore it down. Didn't even allow them to have some influence because apparently the people who lived there actually liked the monarchy. Huh. It only had two members, though. Also, I'm pretty sure it was the Spanish, but the Spanish also colonized some of Hawaii, I believe. I I'm not sure about this, though, and which is probably where all the mongooses came and stuff, and some of the Spanish influence with the Meowth thing I can see. With Alolan Meowth. Yeah. Also, I I'm not sure if they do... But I'm pretty sure I never see any building in Alola that is a reference to that to a beautiful palace, to the beautiful palace that the monarchy had. Like it had influence from all over the world, and yet they they don't even mention it. And it's a really famous landmark, apparently. When you're writing Stalin, pressing B to use that Stalin search is what it's all about. Finally, we get. Uh, one of the more unique replacements for an HM. I mean, it's not an HM, it's a replacement for the item finder. Even though all the rest of them are replacements for HMs. If you go all the way down to Route 5, you come up on Brookit Hill. Brooklet Hill. My friend Lana is up there. So say hi to her for me if you see her. Up there. Basically right next to this area. And, and you can see Brooklet Hill because it's right in, because it's right behind it, sort of. You can see Brooklet Hill from um, the Tide Song Resort, and there's this area of coastline which I feel like should exist. Also, you wanna know what else I don't like, which we'll get into really late in the game. It's how you catch legendaries from other regions. Like, I really like the mini game involved, but- yeah, it's the best mini game. Besides for, uh, Mantine Surfing. Mantine Surfing is also really fun, but, like, they're both pretty good, so... Yeah, but, uh, but I seriously have issue with the areas you get to, because I'll explain later. But I, real I feel like you should have been able to catch most of these legendaries in Alola, and they should have been forced to add more areas to differ this game, because Sun and Moon are pretty darn solid Pokemon games, so... They should have differentiated this game more by making by improving the region design, by adding more new areas that don't just feel like tacked on beaches, but actually yeah. good beaches. Like the, like seriously, the Mantine Surf beaches are definitely tacked on. Like if it was because it's basically just them and some expansion of the hotel areas, yeah, it's really. Just, it, it just feels bad design. Like, they really should have improved the design of this area, but no. I mean, the Alola region, but they never did. They just add some more areas instead of improving on this tiny route that feels... I mean, they, act, they keep acting like it's a huge area, but it takes, like, no time at all to get across the entire island. Each of these islands, for the most part. Especially without Pokemon encounters. Oh look, Marie. Okay, Marie. Hopefully it doesn't have a uh, Marie is an electric Marie is an electric type Pokemon. With I'm hoping this one doesn't, with static for its ability. Which basically makes you paralyzed, which lowers the speed and makes it so you have like a twenty percent chance of not being able to attack slash move. Alright. So that's Marie for ya. Also enough, yeah. So Amy, what do you think is like the wor worst part of the, the intro of every island? Except, well, for Akala and Mele Mele, because we haven't explored all four of the islands yet. It's just, it takes so long to get through the cutscenes. Yeah, I know. I mean, every Pokemon game has it, but... Every Pokemon game, for the most part, didn't have every area as some island. And even Owen did a better job of managing its islands. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that was definitely a better 
management job of islands in Hoenn, where you felt like each island was more distinct. I mean, each of these islands are fairly distinct, but they still have massive problems. Also, with the Well of Volcano, which we'll get into after um, Lana, biggest problem with this, there's a freaking volcano m next to a massive jungle, and that volcano is still very active. And I feel like there's a mis mixed, missed opportunity to add more landmass behind the volcano because it's still erupting. And they could have made this very beautiful thing, which is very famous in Hawaii, besides for the black sand beaches, which they already did on another island, but where you can see the lava rolling into the ocean, adding more land. Or you could have just seen more land and some lava rolling into the ocean. And now, if they did that, they could have V-Tran be, like, around there. Instead of just... Insane. Or, no, they could have added, um... They could have added that thing that was from Taos that I completely forgot about. Volcanion, I believe it was called. Yeah. They could have finally get, made it a non-event Pokemon where you have an actually fitting area where water and lava slash fire meet, where you could have caught it. And it's, so it's not just some random footnote Pokemon with an incredibly unique type that goes unused, basically. Yeah. It's, Water and Fire is a pretty decent type, too, so... Yeah, and it could have they could have had the most, one of the most memorable areas, and it's incredibly unique. It's not your standard just, uh, it's a volcano. No, 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 no. It's a nice area. Also, well, volcano you basically can only explore the exterior. Like, other, with almost every other volcano in every other Pokemon game, you can explore the interior, too. Well, I guess it's an actual, well, well uh, I guess it's an actual volcano. Yeah, but you can explore Reversal Mountain, and in one of them, it's full of lava and active. In White 2, it's like a active. very safe idea, though, does it? So. No, but do you think sending, um, teenagers and free teens into the wilderness with... In, with regions with tons of gangs on the loose, my uncle reference if you noticed that one, is a safe idea either. Well, it's tradition in this area at this point, so... Well, in every Pokemon game. game. So. Every Pokemon game. Also, sometimes I forget that ground types are weak to grass. Also, while I like how the people interact with the Pokemon around them, because of the size of the region, it just feels awkward. I mean, they act, everyone acts like it's some real-life size area, this is like real life, but we know it's not, and I keep saying this because it really annoys me with these games. Hey, okay. so, Oh, okay, that's why I came over here. Item. Also, the Kahuna. You do not interact with them enough, except for Hollow. That kind of bugs me out. Yeah, they could have some really funny dialogue. Yeah, only really in the post-game. And even then, barely. Yeah, except for Paula. Except for Young Santa. What? He's the funniest out of all of them, though. Yeah. But I still kind of... Also, another problem is that, um, it, it, even though it's like the size of the most beginning towns, um, Mali, I, I, no, it's not Mali, um, the, the town where Kahuna Hollow is. I forgot. Okay, actually, you know what? The area, because it's the, a post-game area, I feel like the area leading up to the... Tapu Koko's ruins should have been much, much larger and much more explorative. And yeah, could have way and better have areas. What? And have actual, like, Pokemon in the area. Yeah, and they could have... And also, they could have, you could have had some more exploring water area. And I know that you can view the waterfall on the waterfall from it, but... Seriously, on the map is covered in in um, forest and canopies and trees, and it's kind of well. You don't experience any of that. Basically, basically like um, a certain other area, which is just a corridor. You know what area I'm talking about, right, Aiden? Yeah. 
which was, well, at least that time it's actually somewhat explained. This time, no, it, 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 no, I feel like Alola is too cramped, it fits so much space, and then when they don't, it feels like there are, they act like there's more people than, the, also, something else I don't like with these games, or with theories about these regions, every, almost, almost universally, everyone, instead of using, counting up the population of each of these regions, because it's rather easy, they instead use the population of the area it's based off of. Yeah. Which, no, that's impossible. They're, they're acting like it, that's really not that smart. Um. Yeah? Oh! Well, hey, you went to fight him. Don't tell anyone about that right now. I know, but do you think that the uh, level 23 character one-shot them with a Wii move? Because uh, if not, that's bad. No, no. Uh, it's level 20, actually. Three levels higher. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try it. What type is the Pokemon you just sent out again? Um, Flying and Marble. Oh, well, at least not yes. electric type move. Yeah. Just fly in Seems Dave grew to level yeah. six. Oh, you, oh, you're using Fine. flying MZ. Yeah, I think that can one shot it. Also, you want to know what I think? Okay. Okay, here we have the breeder. Fine, Nation. What? Okay, never mind. It's, oh, actually, that could be that. I'm a Pokemon nursery lady. Oh, it got a critical hit, but I still survived. Be mean. Oh, it healed on my Pokemon. How did it do that? Also, this area is not hard enough for me to need a healing up. I will explain the breeder later, but all you have to know is this. Eggs take forever to hatch. Yep. And I yeah, feel like uh, there should have been a way way like introduced to my speed up even more. You can get punching, which will have... Um... What's it, um, that one of the monkey, uh, Flame Body. Oh, Hidden Power, yeah. Yeah, Hidden Power, that's very useful. If you have a Pokemon that's good enough that will use Hidden Power, it's a fairly useful move for competitive battling. Right? Um, yeah, on certain Pokemon. It used to be a lot more useful, though. Yeah, but it's, today, it's actually pretty useful. Yeah, it's just still it needs a power. It needs to be buffed. All right. Also, cars shouldn't exist on this island. There's not enough lanes, and there's no parking lots, and there's nowhere to put them. And there's giant dogs you can ride instead. And horses. And toros. Yeah, so those giant dogs. And at least in Unova, you know that you can see some freeways, and you don't get to explore enough of the region to know that you to know where you can see where they're coming from. But of course here you can explore almost everything and you can see from the map almost everything so you know that they're not coming from any, but so you know where they're coming from and you know that they would suck and there's no reason they should exist on, this, on these islands. It's useless. They're useless on these islands. So, yeah. oh, it's uh, uh yeah. Oh, I, I have so. Good. Yeah, you'll see These two widows seem, have later. seemed kind of down ever since Lana beat them, but they're blocking the path. Another Wadi Yeah, dumb trees. Yeah, dumb trees. Oh, hey, someone's doing crunches. On a truck. Really, car wrenches. Winning at a Pokemon battle is easier than fixing my truck. Dude, you're not you're even not 16. It. You're doing crunches. You're, you're not really, fixing it, no, you're exercising. Had, you're smelling the door 20 billion times. <laughs> No, he's exercising. <laughs> so maybe he just really likes to enter that door. Also, he's not even 16. I feel like he should have said his dad's truck. But, yeah. Well, it be a really also, something video. else. There's no residential area in Alola. Like, there uh, are residential Alola. areas, but in, in, um, um, in Howley City, 
There's no residential area. Like, seriously, there's no residential area. Yeah. Yeah, it's well, supposed to be a big city where people live and work. There's, like, one mansion that belongs to Ilma. There's the professor's house. There's, um, a place I can never remember the name of where, um, Hal lives. But you can never find his mom there. And there's the city, but and there's the mall, but there's, like, no residential area. Because of the Pokemon school, but there's no place where they live. There's the fairy farm, but that's a job thing. Yeah. Like, I feel like each of these islands should have been big. Like, this is why each island of Japan that they use as a basis for Pokemon game for um the first four regions. That's why they felt more realistic than these islands, because one, they are based off of islands, and they fit as much as they needed on each island for what would make each island better. Yeah. But these are islands, except there's four of them, except none of them are big enough, and it feels like they were designing a region that is each I I feel like they're designing a region that's meant to be connected not separated by water, and not each of them being islands. They're acting like each area is connected, but it's not. Which yeah. is another bad thing about this. Um, I wish that Mantine itself was a ride Pokemon series Lapras, by the way. Yeah. But I imagine it would be pretty awkward to surf in a puddle. <laughs> Yeah, I know, they are technically colored. more awkward with the Lapras. And it takes longer to get from each island to each island by water than it does to... What's it called again? Oh yeah, than it does to walk across each of these islands. Yeah. Like, Siri... Oh yeah, Magnemite is a steel electric type. Yeah. It's a really solid Pokemon. In more ways than one. I've used it quite a few times. Yeah, I've used it too. Used it it's a head. really good Pokemon. Like, a really good Pokemon. Well, it's yeah. Evolution Ball. It actually made its way up into the metagame too. Yeah. With Celesteela. Also, I do not understand why this thing doesn't have Levitate. I don't either. It's double to ground. It's clearly levitating. And do I know what else levitate. doesn't have Levitate? Alolan Raichu. Yeah, that should have been Levitate. Like, Surge Surfer is only good in one instance. It should have had the option to have Levitate. That yeah. is a missed opportunity. I know they're trying to give some Raichu right. some more love because they basically forgot it because of Pikachu. But Raichu should have been given Levitate. Yeah. Because I, I, I it's practically... True. Also, it shouldn't have still remained... Did you know that Alone Raichu is actually a physical attacker? Oh yeah, because it's like Z move and stuff, right? Yeah, but it should be a special attacker. Also, isn't um wait, and there's like and it does and I'm pretty sure it doesn't even learn dead headbutt, which is like the only good physical psychic type. So well, I know it's basically a yeah. I know it's basically a mixed attacker, but everything else screams physical. And it, like, there's no physical attacks to make use of that slightly better physical attack. And it was all, like, basically special attack moves, but it doesn't really be able to make use of it. And plus, besides Surge Surfer, because it doesn't have Levitate, and Levitate basically would have made it, made it, basically would have negated ground types against it, which could have allowed for many things, which basically would have made it a psychic type weakness-wise, which would have been very interesting and made and would have been very good or interesting or cool for the metagame. Like, why did they miss this opportunity? Alright. Hey! Finally, this was Dimsdale's first battle. And he won. If I had won, I didn't lose. <laughs> Da, da, da. Okay, oh, you're training. I'm gonna train again. Alright, so. Pokemon is a rock rough. I know. One more battle, and then we're done. Okay. 
So, you've been fighting every single trainer? Yeah. Huh. Why not? Get no it? Why not? No, let's play it on a super high episode. What? No wonder let's play it on like episode 20 something. Haha! <laughs> yeah. By the time I finish, um... Okay, Sableye! This thing! Ghost Dark type! No weaknesses except for Fairy. This Pokemon used to be one of the two Pokemon with no weaknesses. Well, three for a while. Oh yeah. Oh well. Yeah. 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 This is the reason why I still, yeah, still complaining about Alolan Raichu though. If I was uh, fully evolved, that would have done something. Well, actually, no. It only you're, it used Night Chain, not Dark Pulse. It would have done nothing. Okay. Yeah, this Pokemon is. And it's mega form is literally a troll. It's yeah, mega it's, form. It's literally I a can't tell you how many times in like Emerald or something I was trying to get one of those I was trying to get one to use against a normal type gym. And it had stall as its ability. Wait, stall is I also you wanna know stall something? Stall, 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 stall. My first um Baneary ever. Guess what ability it had? What? Yes. I tried using a on you, but it had clutz and it was so annoying. Yeah. Also, did you, um, um, okay. Alright. Hey, you're almost there. Now we're on Route 5. Down. Next time you're on Pokemon Ultra, Ultra Moon, we're gonna be exploring Route 5. And then after that, taking on the Water Type Trial. See you guys next time. Bye. Roger 2 and A-Name signing out. Yep, bye. See you, probably.